What up, physics? Welcome back to the dirt bike shed. We're going to get our math on today. We're going to do some, going to do some math. Um, we're going to talk about pushing and pulling things. And uh, let's take a look at this skateboard first. Now, first I'm going to tell you, this skateboard problem, this is for tomorrow. But I'm telling you what we're working our way up to. We've got a skateboard here. It's a penny board. It's about 1.5 kilogram mass. And with the acceleration of gravity on Earth, its weight is about 15 newtons, so it's pushing down, down, uh, with about 15 newtons of force, okay? And we can pull on it right here with the spring scale, and you can see the spring scale shows us newtons. So wouldn't it be cool if I could pull on this thing, measure how hard I pulled, and then observe the acceleration of the skateboard. Now there are a lot of problems we could do with this. We could uh, pull on this, we know its weight, and then by observing the acceleration we could calculate the mu of the skateboard's wheels against the wood. Or we could do it another way. If we had a good guess as to the mu and we knew how much it weighed and then we knew how hard we pulled on it, then we could calculate the acceleration. Now there's some fun stuff we'll do, but before we get to the fun stuff, I'm going to do some things that are a little bit easier. We're going to talk about pushing and pulling on objects. Now we're pushing and pulling on objects here, okay? Let's say I've got some ice. It's really icy. Well, ice shouldn't be green. How about, how about this? We've got some ice, and I'm going to use black to represent the ice. It's some very, very slickery ice. And we've got a refrigerator. And a big refrigerator, it's in a box. But the coolest thing about this box is it's got grease on the bottom of it, and it's got wheels, and it's on ice. So there's basically no friction here, no mu, okay? That's how we're going to think about it. Now, if somehow I could push on this, all right? Now I'm going to push on it. And I, I really couldn't push on it. If my feet were slickery right here, so I've got some spiked sh shoes on, so I've got perfect grip, all right? And what if I said that this refrigerator weighed 100 kilograms, all right? And that I pushed on this refrigerator with 50 newtons of force. You should be able to tell me the acceleration of the refrigerator, of the refrigerator, there's two L's, the acceleration of the refrigerator as it moved away. I'm just going to back that off. I'm just going to say, hey, this thing's going to accelerate at blank meters per second, per second. And you know what we could do before that? We could say, how many newtons of excess force are left. What? If I push on this with 50 newtons that way, this thing is it's big. It's got a lot of inertia. What is the weight of this bad boy? Well, it will be 100 kilograms times 9.8. Or in other words, the weight of this, Lord, there we go, the weight of this refrigerator would be 980 newtons. What do you think about that? 980 newtons. Now this 980 newtons does not want to go anywhere. It does not want to move. And we know it's got a lot of inertia. We know it doesn't want to move. But look right here. I told you it also had no friction. No friction. So really, this object is not resisting being moved because it doesn't have any grip against the ground. So if you pushed on it with 50 newtons, there would be 50 newtons 
of force applied to it because there's no friction here. Now, how fast would it accelerate away? What would the acceleration be? We know over on this side that F is equal to MA. We put 50 newtons against a 100 kilogram refrigerator. Remember we said this refrigerator had a mass of 100 kilograms. So we put 50 newtons of force on a 100 kilogram refrigerator. It would move away with an acceleration of 2 meters per second per second. And that's an easy problem. But let's change it a little bit. Let's change it. Let's say now, hey, this refrigerator, this refrigerator, you like that refrigerator. I'll put everything together. This refrigerator, now it's got a little resistance, all right? Oop, it's got a little resistance. I'm going to push on this refrigerator with 50 newtons of force, but now there's a little heat created. Because this refrigerator, refrigerator, one of the wheels went bad. So now it has a mu of 0.1. Let's figure out how much this refrigerator weighs. It's 100 kilograms times 9.8. So it has a weight of 980 newtons. And the mu is 0.1. So the resistance this refrigerator can create, its resistance to being moved is 980 newtons. Lord, let me do better. Let me do better for you people. Let me get a smaller pen. The resistance is 980 newtons times 0.1. So guess what? It is resisting being moved with 98 Newtons. Hmm. What are we going to do about this? That's what we're going to do about this. Nothing. What? This refrigerator is resisting being moved with 98 Newtons. But you're only pushing on it with 50 Newtons. It's not going to move. All right? Let's change it up a little bit. What if this refrigerator had a resistance of 0 0.01 mu. And what if we said now this refrigerator, it has a weight of 980 newtons times 0 0.01 friction. So now it's resisting with 9.8 newtons. It is resisting being moved with 9.8 newtons. We're pushing on it with 50 newtons. So that's going to leave us 40.2 newtons left over. I want you to see something. So I got this little guy right here who just showed up. Can you see him? He just literally dropped off my ceiling. You want to learn some physics, buddy? Oh, took off. All right. So this refrigerator is resisting being moved with 9.8 newtons, because its friction is now 0.01, I've magically changed it. We pushed on it with 50. 40.2 newtons of force are left over. How much did that refrigerator weigh? 100 kilograms. So what would the acceleration be? Well, let's figure it out. 40.2 is equal to 100 times blank. We will take the 100. We'll put it on the bottom. And we will say 40 divided by 100 is 0.4. The refrigerator would accelerate away with an acceleration of 0.4 meters per second per second. Let's try another one. Now we've got a broken down truck. It's big red, big red truck. It's broken down. Now we're pushing on it right here with a certain amount of force. Got some guys pushing on it, trying to get it home. And we also know this truck has a weight, Lord, 
what is happening here? We also, I don't know what just happened here, people. Must have been that little lizard. We also know that this truck has... Okay, I just lost it. Hey guys, I'm sorry, my computer freaked out on me, so I've got to regenerate this very fancy picture. 3,000 kilogram truck. It has a weight. We got some dudes pushing on it. They're trying to get it home. Okay? They're pushing hard on this truck. Got to get her home. Now. All right. This truck is going to have some resistance. It's going to have some friction. Let's say the friction of this truck. Let's say this truck has a mu of 0.1. Even when it's in neutral. You know, it's a big heavy thing. The tires are rubbery, maybe they're not all the way inflated. It is has a resistance of 0.1. Now, the downward force of this truck is going to be 3,000 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second per second, right? So the downward force of that truck is going to be 3,000 times 9.8 is 29,400 newtons, okay? And it has a frictional coefficient of 0.1. So 29,400 times 0.1 gives you 2,940 newtons of resistance. It is resisting being moved with 2,940 newtons. Now these guys right here pushing on the truck, they're strong. And they're pushing on the truck with a lot of force. They're pushing on the truck with 5,000 newtons of force. I wonder what the acceleration of the truck will be. Now, you can try to work this right now and pause the video. But I'm going to go ahead and do it because uh, you have the gift of pause at your house. All right? This truck... With its 0.1 resistance down here, it is resisting being moved with 2,940 newtons. It's pushing back that way. These guys are pushing on the truck with 5,000 newtons of force. The leftover force, we would say 5,000 minus 2,940 that will give us 2,060 newtons left over to move the truck. The truck is now has an excess of 2,060 newtons. F is equal to MA. There's the force. The mass of the truck is 3,000 kilograms. So what would the acceleration be? 2,060 divided by 3,000 will give us the acceleration. This truck will move away with 0.687. The acceleration will be 0.687 meters per second per second. All right, great. I'm going to give you a couple of these problems to try, and you get them done by Wednesday. Later.